the 32 inch um, teardrop swag today I'm actually making this for a customer um, there is a local gentleman that owns his own computer shop hi hi Levon and he is asked me to make five wreaths bill him for them and he wants me to give them away locally hold a contest and draw so i wanted to make something simple um i already went ahead and made the bows i'm actually using this ribbon this is from sam's club this was from sims then i had this that you know i used this the last time and then this kind of pulls it all together it has um some poinsettias in there and so on so i know he's so good to me let me just introduce myself for those just popping on i'm robin with robin 33 I always forget to do that <laughs> so let me do that um, yeah I used to watch his daughter when I had my own in-home daycare and uh, he's been so supportive of me and my business thank you Levon all right so what I did was because the other day I showed I did post a video on how to accent some of your pieces so that they coordinate better with what you're using as far as ribbon goes these were so dull without the gold accents that i had to put something in here so i went back and i used scribble paint i did post it on my uh, youtube channel i just used regular scribble paint and just let it dry 24 hours in between what i did was i did one layer and then i popped these up and then i did another layer and then i went back and put another because what i was trying to do was mimic the ribbon that i was going to be using for this because they just look so washed out they didn't look really good in the green but they really popped when i added the the um, tan in here and this is just three pieces of mesh, 10 inch mesh cut at 18 inches. So we're gonna glue these down in here. So I have three. I did post these in my Etsy shop because somebody had asked me where I got them. I only had a few left, but they are posted. Along with the other points that we're gonna be using soon, which I had a lot of extra of isn't that adorable and it's i don't know if you can see it but it's glittered too and this one has red bells in the middle so those are both listed if anybody's interested so we're going to go ahead and we're going to glue these to the wreath base not all my product came in for this so i had to improvise but i think it'll be okay I think they'll still like it no matter what. Hi, Dawn. Your sign went out this morning, Dawn. Dawn orders a lot of custom signs for me. And she makes some really awesome looking wreaths. And I can't wait to see what she does with the sign I just made for her. So I'm excited. You're so welcome. I did post, I don't know if I did post a few pictures of some of the custom signs I made yesterday. I made two for an infant um, loss group. One of them is my puppy parent of Little Miracle. And I really enjoyed doing that project um, because I am also a parent of miscarriage twins. So 
it was nice that I got to be a part of it. Um, I even added twin butterflies in there in spots and that was to represent um, loss of twins and she thanked me because she said there were other people in the group that have lost twins also to miscarriage so she felt they would really appreciate it so welcome Kathy where are you watching from I'm Robin with Robin's Re3 we're doing a swag here it's a 32 inch teardrop swag I have a local businessman who's ordered five wreaths for me and he's going to give them away to people in our community so I'm really excited to get this to him tomorrow all right so there's the start we've got an 18 inch um, 18 inches long it's just a ruffle 10 inch wide mesh welcome from south carolina what's the weather like down there i hope it's not too bad and then i went ahead and i made my bow already because i knew i was going to be late getting him for my appointment which went rather well and i'm really happy to say i think i'm going to be okay so um that's something to celebrate Hi, Susan. Your signs went out too. <laughs> Everybody's ordering signs all of a sudden. Thank you, and thank you for the business. Oh, that's not too bad. It's kind of, it's not hot, it's not cold up here. We're in Pennsylvania. And I got to see my grandson in between appointments, so that's always a thrill. All right, so I, I told you earlier, I showed you how to accent your um, wreath, wreath um, picks and such to match your ribbon. I did put a, a video on YouTube of how I did that with the scribble paint, so you can see that. I just wanted to tie it all in. This just really looked pretty, and this just really looked too drab, so we added some accents. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to run three of these ribbons down the side. So, I didn't want to make them part of the bow, so I've actually cut three. They're like at 48 inches, I think is what I, got it. I have it cut at. You are welcome. Susan and Dawn are very good customers of mine. And it's always appreciated. All right. So in this, I have the tan ribbon with the, with the black polka dots. I also have this ribbon. And I use this. How did a leaf get in there? Uh, I used this the other day. I used the tan. I actually have it in navy too. This came from Paper Mart. You really have to be careful though because the side has the wire in it, but it's attached to the netting. So it's, it's kind of one that you have to be a little gentle with. And then our third one is the one from Sam's Club that says Happy Holidays on it. And it has the uh, poinsettias. So that's why I chose that one. I could have even chosen the Merry Christmas one. But I don't know who's going to get this wreath. So I figured Happy Holidays would be better than using the Merry Christmas. So I'm just going to loop it down the sides here. And just catch it in sections. So eventually I can just spread this out. But that's the plan. And I'll go down both sides and have it come out at the bottom. Just 
just want to curl this a little more. I love working with swags. They're just an easy thing to work with. It doesn't require a lot of, of wreath attachments and such. You can just build with your ribbon and just three things down the side or down the middle. Kind of want the one to tilt that way, this way, this way. All right. Can you all see from that angle okay? Hi, Deborah. Welcome. Let me just zoom in a little for you so it makes it a little easier. And then I think I'm going to curl these up on the bottom. Because this ribbon kind of has one direction to it, the words, I kind of like when I do a, a bow or whatever, I kind of like to go make sure that my wording goes down the side like it should, not upside down, not backwards. Thank you for coming and spending time with me. If you wouldn't mind sharing, I would really appreciate it. Oh, I'm supposed to say spreading love. And I always tell everybody, I put all my links at the top of the comments. If you haven't liked my YouTube channel, please go on and do so. Please subscribe because I have a habit of not watching what I say. And if I get stuck in Facebook jail, that's where you'll find me. A few of the girls said they'd bail me out, but that takes a while. And I did not get all the attachments for this. I have some gold picks that I had on order that did not come in. So I'm not real happy about that. <clears throat> but we're going to improvise. Now, let's see how even we are here. Okay, we're going to cut these a little bit. They're a little longer than the other ones. There we go. I'm going to dovetail. And if you wouldn't mind, let me know some of the stuff you would like to see in upcoming lives. I'd like to gear them towards what you're interested in and make something that you would want to watch. Okay, there we are so far. Wouldn't you just love to win one of these? I can't wait to see who wins. And I'm almost to... A thousand likes on YouTube and I told you once I hit a thousand we're gonna do a five sign giveaway I'm just kind of curling these up would love to what Susan Win this wreath. Oh. <laughs> Are y'all hearing okay? Okay, Deborah. Go. Uh oh. Go out and come back in. I hope that helps. Just try it. Go out and come back in. Deborah's having trouble hearing. It 
might just be her connection. So hopefully she'll see my message and go out and come back in. Because my internet is working today. And lately we've had some issues. So... I'm so glad you could join me. I'm going to try and do every Monday between 6 and 6.30 and every Wednesday at 2. And I have a shipment of something coming in. It was shipped September 15th from Georgia. Now, I'm sorry, September 15th, coming through the mail from Georgia, it should be here by now. So, when that comes, there will be some exciting wreath attachments. I'm very upset. So there, so we've got it like curled down at the bottom. Now what I have for the top is the bigger bow. And then down below, to cover up that area there, I have a small bow made of just two of the ribbons. So we're going to attach this now. And those of you that follow Levine, have you seen her new baby? Levine's a new mommy. <laughs> of what? A hundred pound Great Dane? We're just so excited for her and so happy that she now has her forever baby. And her baby now has her forever mom. Just gonna put a little bit of that there so I can wrap this around and it will grab it. I know. Coco is so cute. We're just all ecstatic for Levine. So happy. And so happy for Coco. Okay, there's there we go so far. What do you think so far? I'm going to have to zoom you out here. Isn't that pretty? Now I can pull these around a little bit. I'm in love with this ribbon from Paper Mart that looks like netting. That to me is just so cool. There we go. All right. So now we're going to put the bow at the bottom and I'm going to put a little spot of glue under there and then we're going to accent with some gold picks that I had to go around and find some since my order did not arrive. But see we're just covering up where the ribbon met at the bottom and where it started at the top, the side doesn't that look pretty? And I didn't add this plaid ribbon to the sides. I added it at the top and at the bottom here. Because see, we already had it, had that pattern in the poinsettias. All right, now we're going to add some stuff. I actually had some things that I cut up. And we're going to use these to accent with. So I think I'm going to do one down here with the pine cone and these ivy leaves. 
and little springy thing. I think we're going to put that there. And then one here. And then one up here. I know, I'm doing matchy-matchy. Sorry. But I think to pull out some of the white, we're going to use some of this in back of it. Because it's a little too dark for me. So I think by doing it this way, I'm lightening it up a little. See? Just lightening it up. Hi, Missy. Hey, Kayla. All right, I think that's going to go in there. I'm trying to find something to glue it to. I know. I'm going to undo the ribbon. I'm going to add a little glue in there. Then I'm going to put this in here and wrap it around. And try not to get burnt. <laughs> I just wanted little pops of gold in here. So, we'll do this one next. Okay. And this I'm going to glue the gold. Like I said, I had to go scrambling for gold because it did not come in. Which last month when I ordered them, they were here within three days. So, probably sitting on a dock somewhere. Being held hostage by the post office again. But doesn't that look pretty? You can make your own picks and put in the wreath what you want in the wreath. Yes. Thank you. And then I'm going to fold this over. There. I know I'm not using one of my signs, but I figured... You know, this guy gave me a price point to stay within, and I'm trying to, you know, go easy on him, but at the same time, make them look elaborate so he's happy. And, and then I have some of this gold, which kind of goes along with the gold in the ribbon and in the poinsettias. So I'm going to add some of that. So this one, I don't know, maybe I'll, no, I think it kind of looks better. Well, let's see. Maybe if we add it in here. Yeah, I think it kind of looks better inside the swag. See, I can really use the branches on the swag to position it where I want it. It's just really hard when it all does not come in when it's supposed to. Yep, I like it just the way it is. 
I'm just putting a little dab of glue there and then bending it down. As you'll all see the video of Kayla's little Mr. Green that found his bark the other day. I posted it. He is hilarious. I'm telling you, you picked the mouthiest one of the litter, just so you know. I'm not pulling any punches. I'm not I'm not um, forcing him on you, but I'm just telling you, this little guy does not shut up. He knows what he wants, when he wants it, and he tells you. So, you've been warned. For those of you who don't know, I'm a Yorkie breeder, and I have a litter of Yorkie pups right now. And I have a lot of unhappy people, because there were only three in the litter, and eight on the waiting list. So, it's a little bit sad, but... They're being patient, so Kayla's being patient. She 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 waited. So if they want one, they gotta wait. All right, let me just make sure this is. Oh, we gotta fix this. That was not in there. All the way. Now I have some of this left. No, we will just leave it out. <laughs> he is cute, isn't he? Oh my gosh, Missy. And that little girl, she's so sweet. And she just got, I just got a deposit on her. So they're all sold. And there's five on the waiting list for the next litter. Which, I don't know when that'll be. But they want to wait, so... That's fine with me. Now I could have with these poinsettias, I could have went with white mesh because I could have accented these with the white scribble paint. So let's hide our ribbon. That's showing. We don't want that showing. All right. I think we're cool. What do y'all think? That's pretty nice size, isn't it? Like I said, I just wanted to do something that would be simple and elegant and like I said happy holidays should appeal to anybody who wins this wreath so I think we're good that's crooked and I went to my favorite store today and I found the neatest items thank you Dawn that I'm hoping to give you more ideas for your signs than putting them in a wreath. So, oh, the one is just incredible. It was made by somebody. It's a piece of, I'd say, like, it, it just has an odd shape to it. And it has little feet on it. And it, it's something that I can put an arrangement in. Thank you, Jeanette. Thanks, Carla. Thank you, Dawn. So, yeah. I think anybody would, would appreciate winning this. And like I said, it's so sweet of him to help me with my business, you know. And give them away. I just can't pick which ones I want to give away. Because I'm trying to stay within a price point of like $60 for him. And normally I would sell this for a little more than $60. But I have to think too, this is giving me really good exposure. So 
I'm, I'm still kind of covering the cost of my materials. I'm just not covering all the cost of my labor. So, so yeah, there we go. We're all done. And if you wouldn't mind spreading the love, I'd so appreciate it. Thank you. All right, anything you want to see next time? You want me to do Thanksgiving? You want me to do Christmas? What would you like to see? Anybody? See, I think it I think it just has enough. I think the mesh just highlighted the poinsettias. And I could if I wanted to. Now that kind of cheapens it. I think I'm good just the way it is. It's perfect. Susan wants Thanksgiving. Okay. Are we talking a Thanksgiving arrangement or a Thanksgiving wreath? Because I pulled a Thanksgiving arrangement out of the basement that I want to redo. Because I just don't like it. <laughs> so I want to redo it. This is one I made last year. And it says, eat ham. And see, I use succulents in my... Um, in my arrangements because a lot of the succulents have the fall colors okay Jeanette wants okay all right we what we will do is Monday night we'll do Thanksgiving Wednesday we'll do Christmas so do we want a wreath yeah because you know why Susan a lot of people are buying signs for Christmas right now so we're all doing we're all in between. Do you want a Thanksgiving wreath or a Thanksgiving arrangement? Arrangement. Arrangement. All right. So Monday night, we'll take this apart because I don't like it. It was from last year when I first started doing arrangements. So we'll take this apart. I think I will come up with a different little sign to go in here because I have my little signs. I thought it was cute. Eat ham. So we'll do an arrangement on Monday night of this with a new sign because this kind of blends in too good and you really can't see it. So and maybe by then my uh, my new inventory will come in. And I can make something from that to go in here. So that will be Monday night Thanksgiving arrangement. And Wednesday Christmas arrangement or Christmas wreath, Jeanette. Let's do a Christmas wreath. Let's do the, the fall arrangement on Monday and the Christmas wreath. Y'all saw the cornucopia I made, right? I found another basket today for a dollar and it is so cute and I like it because it has a nice flat front on it um, which makes it nice to make your bed in the front of leaves and then add up so we'll do that and you know I'm always up for new sign ideas so Susan, if ever she has a sign idea or Dawn, they always contact me. So, um, in fact, I have Dawn's here that she requested. I'll show it to him, Dawn. Because I actually double printed this one. So I had to reprint it. But this was Dawn's sign. Nothing, or not even a mouse. So when Dawn's done with her wreath, I will post a picture of it. 
You got it. I think I'm going to do a pine wreath because I've got some uh, new picks that are supposed to be here, and I think that would be awesome. Did you all see the I'll Be Home for Christmas wreath that one of my customers made from my Al sign? I know. it. <laughs> she comes up with the cutest little thing. She's like, I want a gray mouse, and I just wanted to say nothing, not even a mouse. And I'm like, okay. So I added a hat to him, and I put a little Z's on there like he was sleeping. So I love it. I love the custom orders because I can really go crazy with those. All right, so I'll take this apart, and we'll work with this on Monday night at 6 and Tuesday night, Tuesday, or Wednesday at 2 in the afternoon, Eastern Standard Time, we'll do uh, a Christmas one. All right. All right. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for stopping by. Sorry I was late, but I only got good news at my appointment, so that was important. So I'm happy. My husband's stuck with me now. <laughs> so, all right. Please do, Susan. She put a, a white owl in hers and had some blue picks that were just so cute. And I can't find a snow owl anywhere because I actually had a request for the same wreath. My customer saw it and said, I want that wreath. And I can't find a snow owl anywhere. Yes, I'm good. The old ticker is where it, what it's doing what it's supposed to do, and I was worried for a while, but um, no, I'm I'm good. So it was only good news. It's been a worry for the last couple weeks, but um, I'm I'm good. And I got to see my grandson, who I haven't seen in four weeks. So I I need to see it, Susan. So send me a picture. I need to post it. Because sales on that sign have gone up since I posted that. Everybody liked it. So. Well, have a great evening. Stay safe. I love you all. I appreciate all the, the support you show me and my business. And I'll see you on Monday night. All right. Good night. Good afternoon. <laughs>